What's up everyone? It's Ice Man Oz, aka J, straight from the Kangaroo in your living room. Here today, I'm back with my first episode in Battlefield 4 of Requested Loadout. So if you don't know what this series is, it's pretty much where you leave me a loadout in the comment section below for me to try out in Battlefield 4, and I give it a go and I tell you what I think of the weapon. Uh, I did this series way back in Battlefield 3, it was probably my most popular series, so uh, to all the new guys who haven't seen this series, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, it's a personal favorite of mine and I have a lot of fun uh, doing these because you guys come up with some really crazy loadouts sometimes. Sometimes they're actually really good and I find a weapon or a loadout that I really enjoy. So uh, personally, this is my favorite uh, series to do. So let's get right into it. Today's loadout comes to us from a guy called Chris Vector. Hey Ice, can you try my awesome assault kit loadout? SAR-21, Coyote RDS, laser sight, muzzle brake with the angled grip, the P226 pistol with any attachments you want, and the M320 grenade launcher. I think this loadout will suit your style because you can play very smart and dominate the opposition, which is what this setup is best at. Best of luck. So he was pretty complimentary to me there, so I appreciate that, I appreciate that dude. Uh, so, okay, so originally when I saw this loadout, I was, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'd never tried the SAR, so I'd like to point that out. I'd never tried the SAR at all. I had to go through and unlock all the attachments for it. I, I've put in quite a few kills. I think I've got over 500 at this point. Um, so, yeah, I, I really enjoy this weapon a lot. I mean, it was funny because when I first tried it, I was like, this weapon is horrible. I was on the iron sights of it. I was like, it fires slow. It's just not good. And then I remember getting the uh, RDS sight uh, as I was trying to get the Coyote RDS sight. And I was like, dude, this thing is absolutely insane. You can... Okay, so the interesting thing about uh, the SAR-21 is it's unlike any other weapon in Battlefield 4 or any other Battlefield game I've ever played because you can kill people going fully automatic, just, just shooting, just holding down the trigger to like 100, 200 meters. Like, you never even have to burst with this weapon. I mean, you can to be a little bit more accurate, but it's, it's really not necessity, especially when you get attachments like the angled grip and the muzzle brake like uh, he recommended to me. This thing is an absolute laser and uh, it's one of the better weapons in the game for that. Uh, before trying this weapon, a lot of people were telling me like it really is a good weapon and they were not lying. Um, is it overpowered? Of course not. It's 600 rounds per minute. Like you are not going to be killing people fast at short range. Almost every assault rifle, every shotgun, everything is going to beat you at close range. Um, the only things you will probably beat is bolt, a bolt action sniper rifles if they miss you. So uh, the weapon is pretty bad at uh, short range and medium range it is really good. Long range it's really good. That's where you want to be. I don't recommend this loadout to people who like to rush a lot. Like I said, 600 rounds per minute is going to get you in trouble if you're rushing around. This weapon suits more like Rush Conquest where you're holding down lanes and you're seeing floods of enemies coming from a certain direction. You can just be sitting there ADSing and you can really dominate. Now a lot of the gameplay you're going to be seeing on screen is from Operation Locker which is generally known as the Close Quarters map. The interesting thing about the SAR-21 is it actually works on this map. Uh, if you're out in the snow area on Domination, I would just hold down lanes and I, it was almost impossible for me to get killed because a medium long range there is nothing better than the SAR-21 in terms of assault rifles, LMGs, uh, anything like that in my personal opinion. Um, it's one of the best weapons in the game for that. Again, if you are a rusher and you like to be chaotic, this is not the weapon for you, but it definitely does the job. So uh, getting into the, uh, the attachments and whatnot you gave to me, the laser sight just doesn't work with this weapon. Uh, the reason why is close quarters. I mean, you're not going to be in close quarters much and the interesting thing about the laser sight is, is is it gives away your position to the enemies so if you're aiming down sight right and you're and the enemy comes through they'll see just a huge red glint and they're going to know that you're there and most likely what's going to happen is they're going to see you sooner and you're more likely to get killed. I would put a green laser sight so that that glint isn't there quite as much and you can, you know, you can kill your opponents faster. That's always the goal, right? Uh, the P226 pistol, I, I pretty much didn't use it at all. I mean, I never uh, felt a need to. Uh, the I never ran out of ammo much. There was a couple of times where I did. Uh, the PP2, uh, P226 did the job for me. I, uh, I, I normally run with the... Um, 
what did I go with? I, I use the iron ring, I think that's what it's called, the uh, sight. I use the suppressor and the flashlight, and uh, it works pretty well for me, or the S-TAC, as some people call it, uh, and that works pretty well for me, but I never really used it uh, that much. Uh, the, as for the M320 grenade launcher, it works for me sometimes. I mean, if you're down, if you're aiming down long corridors, short corridors, you know, places where people are camping, it's obviously going to work for you. Uh, if you've had experience with FPS games before, you know what an M320 does. It's a it's a highly explosive grenade, and it will kill opponents if they're stationary, hiding behind things. Um, the spread uh, definitely helps with that. But uh, in my personal opinion, I'd rather go with something like an M26 mass because at close range you can just pull that out and then you know take them. Out like that because again at close range the SAR 21 just doesn't do the job so looking back on the loadout it's pretty good I would make a couple of changes like I stated earlier but at the end of the day I think this loadout is worth a shot if you are more of a defensive player who likes to play conquest rush even domination just hold down lanes this is the weapon for it if you have a loadout for me tell me in the comment section below and I'll be sure to try it out so that's pretty much it from me guys but if you enjoyed this video please like share Share, subscribe, and peace.